post-contact HIV prevention. While hoping you'll never need this information, it's still worth knowing. Officially, every 200th person is dealing with this virus, unofficially, every 100th, if not more. The main reason, presumably, is that people are convinced that HIV is a disease of gays, prostitutes, and drug addicts. In reality, the carriers are mostly ordinary people, not belonging to the mentioned categories. There are far more office workers and housewives among HIV-positive people than drug addicts and prostitutes. Add to this prejudice a lack of habit to regularly take tests and a dismissive attitude towards condoms, and we get an HIV epidemic. An incurable deadly virus which can remain asymptomatic for a very long time. If you've had unprotected sex with a person whose HIV status is unknown to you, but there are suspicions that it is positive, or with an HIV-infected person it's not the end. That is not a guarantee that you will get infected. There is something called PEP, post-exposure prophylaxis. Simply put, a handful of pills that you must manage to take within 72 hours after contact. They will protect you from infection. Much like Postinor protects against pregnancy if you fit into the allotted time. The immunodeficiency virus does not always and immediately move to a new carrier. It needs to anchor in cells, replicate, and find ganglia where it will hide forever. Therefore, you have no more than 72 hours for PEP. But the sooner you start therapy, the less likely you are to get infected. Once again, I sincerely hope that this info will never be useful to you, but please remember it, especially those who do not have a permanent partner, just in case.